Pinworm treatment 50 mg per milliliter oral suspension and helmintics can be used to treat intestinal worm infections like pinworm, roundworm, and hookworm. It belongs to a class of drugs known as anthelmintics. This medication works by paralyzing the worms, allowing the body to naturally remove them in the stool. It can be used to self-treat pinworm infections, but for other types of worm infections, such as roundworm and hookworm, it's important to use this product only as directed by your doctor. It's important not to use this medication in children younger than 2 years unless directed by a doctor. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication should be discussed with your doctor. When taking this medication, be sure to carefully follow the directions on the product package and the patient information leaflet. It's important to understand how to identify pinworms, recognize the symptoms of a pinworm infection, and know how to prevent getting infected again. If you have any questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food, usually as a single dose or as directed by your doctor. You can take it with milk or fruit juice, and there's no need to take a laxative with it. If you're using chewable tablets, make sure to chew each tablet well and swallow. If you're using the liquid form, shake the bottle well before each dose and carefully measure using a special measuring device slash spoon. The dosage of this medication depends on your weight, the type of infection, and how you respond to treatment. Do not take more than a total of 1 gram in a single dose. If you're self-treating, take the medication once only, and do not repeat the dose without consulting your doctor first. Your doctor may also direct you to take the medication only once or for several days, depending on the type of worm infection you have. If you continue to see worms in your stool, or if symptoms persist or worsen, seek medical help as soon as possible. It's important to know that if your doctor has prescribed this medication, they have determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. While nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach-slash-abdominal cramps, headache, drowsiness, dizziness, trouble sleeping, or loss of appetite may occur, it's rare to have a very serious allergic reaction to this drug. If you do notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. If you experience any other effects not listed here, contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you have any concerns about the side effects, be sure to discuss them with your doctor. Before taking Pirentel, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Also, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have liver disease, severe lack of nutrition, or anemia. This medication may rarely cause drowsiness or dizziness. Avoid consuming alcohol or marijuana as they can increase these effects. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you can do so safely. If you are using marijuana, be sure to talk to your doctor about it. If you are taking chewable tablets, be aware that they may contain aspartame. If you have phenylketonuria or any other condition that requires you to restrict your intake of aspartame, consult your doctor or pharmacist before using the chewable tablets. Before undergoing surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication as it is unknown if it passes into breast milk. When taking this medication, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how well it works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's important to never start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. This will help ensure the safe and effective use of this pinworm treatment. If you suspect someone has taken too much of this medication and they are experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call for emergency help right away. In the U.S., you can call the Poison Control Center at 1-800-222-1222. 
For Canadian residents, you can contact your provincial poison control center for assistance. Symptoms of an overdose may include muscle spasms, twitching, weakness, and difficulty breathing. When it comes to treating pinworm infections, it's important to consider the whole household. Even if some family members don't have symptoms, they should still be checked and possibly treated to prevent the infection from spreading. In addition to taking the medication, it's crucial to thoroughly clean the home, wash all clothing, and be extra careful with personal hygiene. This means washing hands frequently and keeping fingernails trimmed to prevent reinfection. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, make sure to use it only for your current condition. Do not save it for another time or use it for a different infection unless directed by your doctor. And always consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details on how to use this medication effectively. If your doctor has instructed you to take more than one dose and you happen to miss a dose, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist immediately to create a new dosing schedule. It's important to store this medication at room temperature, away from light and moisture, but not in the bathroom. Keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it expires or is no longer needed, make sure to dispose of it properly. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.